Minister is planning to invoke the Emergencies Act to deal with the current protests in Ottawa and in some parts of the country. We know the protests continue here in Ottawa. We know the Windsor border has been reopened. We know that last night there have been arrests in Coots. Section 16 of the Emergency Act refers to threats to the security of Canada. Given this context, does the Prime Minister think that these protests constitute a threat to the security of Canada? And if, he, if not, does he think that with this news, he could be escalating rather than de-escalating an already inflamed situation? The Honourable Minister of Public Security. Speaker, these illegal blockades are hurting Canadians. We've seen borders closed, our economy crippled. We've seen Canadians lose their jobs, Mr. Speaker, and that's why since the beginning, this federal government has provided law enforcement with all of the resources that they've needed. In Windsor, the RCMP and Windsor Police have reopened the Ambassador Bridge. In Alberta, the RCMP made 11 arrests and seized guns at the Coots border crossing. And in Ottawa, the RCMP and OPP have established an integrated command centre with the Ottawa Police Service. Mr. Speaker, our number one priority is to end the illegal blockades, uphold the law, and allow Canadians to get their lives back. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Asking the Prime Minister to stop dividing, stigmatizing, and name calling people he disagrees with, let them know that he listens and that he hears them, but he refuses to do that. Today we are voting on a Conservative motion, a reasonable motion that asks the government to present a plan for a reopening by the end of the month. This should be a time of optimism yeah. and joy for Canadians, yeah. Yeah. not division and fear. Can Canadians count on the Prime Minister to do the right thing and today stand up with us, support our motion and give Canadians the hope that they deserve so much? Oh, Minister. Mr. Speaker, it does not really matter whether certain members of the opposition have been merely irresponsible or recklessly complicit. But what this country is facing is a largely foreign-funded, targeted and coordinated attack on critical infrastructure and our democratic institutions. The illegal border crossings are clearly, clearly intended to harm Canada and hurt Canadians. And our government, Mr. Speaker, is prepared to do whatever is necessary to restore order and to protect Canadian interests. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. It's clear the Prime Minister and these Liberals are still big fans of polarization, division and negativity. Two years into this pandemic, Mr. Speaker, Canadians deserve, in this moment, some optimism and some hope for the future, and they deserve it. leadership from their government. They need to know when the federal mandates and restrictions will be lifted. That is not an unreasonable ask. So again, will the Liberals, will their Prime Minister, will their Ministers, will the backbenchers stand up for their constituents, vote with us to present some optimism, optimism and some hope for Canadians? The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, at every turn in this crisis, the Conservatives had an opportunity to de-escalate, to talk to those that were outside about dispersing and moving on. Instead, what we see is from the interim leader of the Conservatives, who came out and said that they should continue this for political purposes. Right. The member for, uh, for Carleton, who is currently a leadership candidate, out saying that he's proud and stands with the illegal activity that's happening outside. The member for Yorkton Melville saying that ripping down barricades protecting the war memorial was an act of profound patriotism, passionate patriotism. It, this is their failing leadership here. Mr. Speaker, put this... The Honourable Member for Megan.